And you can stop my destiny. That's what the song says. Brand new one from a lady that is admired by a lot of people. Yes, she set a trend back in the day. Uh, I think the trend still holds. I go to a time like everybody was in natural hair. Yes. And it was because of this particular um, lady. She is a multiple award winning singer. She's a songstress. She's, she's a performer. She's everything that you know, you'd want from an artist. And today she's joined us on the table of life. We're talking of her, it's been a minute she came to Metro TV, but we're happy and glad that she's joined us. Today, holiday edition of the show, as a ladies and gentlemen with the drum roll, are you ready? Make some noise for Miss V. Miss V, y'all. Huh? <laughs> Good afternoon, welcome. Thank you. Why do you call it the table of life? I it's want to huge. know. Okay, so it's huge. And so anything you want to like, and it's, you know, segmented, you can see it. Into, yeah, chit chat. Okay. You can choose, you know. Okay. Life, money, success, everything. Some, <laughs> some day. So which one are you sitting in front of? Oh, me, my own way, day, yeah. Way, day, yeah. Be playing the body of success. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. That. But, but I mean, it's just, it's just our big table. We, we like to call it the table of life. Okay. And some artists perform on. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Who came here wanted to get on the table? Yeah. I fear she wanted to get on the table. Yeah, yes. Yes. I fear oh, goodness, I fear. <laughs> I'm already. No, no, no. This other lady. Oh. What's the matter? Oh. Frida, who? Female. No. Yeah, she's a. Oh, Frida or Wendy? No, no, no. I said I could say Japan sister. Um, no, no, no. Not Stephanie no, Benson. No, hey, that who? <laughs> May I remember only a fear? No. This lady who just had an issue with Fuse. Who was on oh, Fuse's label? Feli Luna. Feli Luna. Luna. It's true. Oh. It's true. Yeah, she came she, here in the yes. boots. I wanted to hop on the wow. table. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome to a set. How are you Thank doing, you. though? I am fantastic. We are black. How are you? Yeah. I know. Yeah. Black is like my favorite color. Oh, yeah, okay. it is true. Yeah, it I is think. Because yeah. I always find myself wearing black. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's black, black, black. Yeah, yeah, I love black too. So yeah, I think it's I easy. Mean, Just put any yeah. accessory yeah, it goes in your really thing. Yeah, yeah, true, true mm -hmm. though. Miss Vera. Yes. How have you been though? I've been good. Yeah. Yes. The gym is working, right? It's working. Small, small. So cool. <laughs> he takes inspiration from me, but he can't do it. <laughs> really? It's yes. hard work, though. It's yeah. not easy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I, mean, I, watch, I watch your snap, and I it's see sometimes when you have conversations with mommy before you get into the gym. Oh, and my all God. It's <laughs> the discipline and the determination. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you don't have, that. you can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks That's like mommy is a, is a huge source of inspiration for you. Oh, yeah. My mom is, like, my biggest fan, like, my best friend. She's like my sister. Oh. Yeah, so we're always just vibing, you know. She's like a, her own musician in her own little corner, you know. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. see. I mean, it's nice to see that. And and how often does she get into your music business? Like Every music? day. Oh, okay. I've saved her name on my phone as Coco Hey. So, <laughs> yes, she's, she's the biggest gossip I know. She wants to know <laughs> everything. everything. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to Mami, though. Yep. Big shout out to Mami for holding us down over the years. Now, um, the first time I, I heard of you, I probably was in JHS or I don't remember, but it was. Who girls go back? <laughs> yeah. 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 The, the, your entry into the space, mm -hmm. um, was it like a planned thing that you came together with the girls and said, like, you know, we want to do this? Or you went as a solo artist and it just came like, okay, let's do this together? I was called out of the blue. I never imagined doing music. It was never a part of my decisions. Like, it just happened. Really? Yes, I was home um, after secondary school, and then my classmate called me, Samira Buari. And then oh. she was like, oh, I want to form a girl band. Um, so we went to see Richie, and then I auditioned. And then he said he liked my voice. And I still wasn't sure because my parents, they are not, they, they, my, my dad would not be okay with like music because music, music doesn't have a good rep. Mm. Yeah, so um, it's like big daughter, pa, then she's going to <laughs> do music, you know, maybe wear some skimpy yeah. clothes and yeah. start acting yeah. funny, drinking, smoking, you know, all those things that our parents are scared of. So, yeah, I was scared of that, but my mom tried to, you know, get him to understand, oh. and I'm here today. Yeah. So, when you started and like you got into the studio, so it meant that. Even before you meeting up with the ladies, mm -hmm. you hadn't done anything music you know, in no. school. Oh, I, I sang before, but like when I was like way younger. Oh, yeah, okay. but that was it. But nothing major. Yeah. So this I didn't even expect. And you must be really proud of yourself. How far you've come. I've been blessed. Yeah. I th I feel like I'm really blessed, and I have a lot of grace. Like wow. God is good. 
yes, yes. What did you want to do, um, you know, as you were finishing your school and all that? I had no idea. I don't lie to you. Mm. There are a lot of people who don't know what they want to do. You know, they are just really yeah. going through life, you know, and it's, it takes some time for some people. Some people know instantly, and some people take a very long time to find out what their passion is. But luckily for me, God didn't let me go through all that stress. I finished school. I was still thinking, what am I going to do? You know, because uni, you have to pick like a course and yeah. stuff like that. And I just got a call one day. Let's go to the studio. And that was it. And this is really my calling, though, because now I can't imagine myself doing anything. Doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't imagine it. Like some nurse or uh, hell, hell no. no. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. But what was you were in Mary's, right? Yeah, I went to yeah. St. Mary's. Yeah. What course did you do, Mary? I did home economics. Oh, yeah. So at least you, you could, could have, have been, been a nurse. nurse. Yeah, yeah. nurse was, was wet. No. Was a wet thing. <laughs> no, I have a very interesting story about home economics. So this was my first major life lesson because I went to secondary school with a very lazy attitude. Like, I really didn't want to study science. Hell no, I'm not trying to do any of that. So I was thinking, you know, home economics would be like a really easy way to just go mm -hmm. through school. And, and then I realized that. The, the, it was not yeah. <laughs> like you have to you do have to so do much biology, of the practical yeah. that Chemistry. biology was yeah. my favorite subject yeah. by the way <laughs> wow elective okay. biology was my favorite <laughs> favorite favorite subject and i get so excited when yeah. they teach i just didn't want to study so i thought that oh home economics will be like cheap side you know thing. yeah, yeah let's, and i found there's nothing easy, easy. in this life True. like so far as you have to like put a like your effort time and effort yeah. into it it's not easy so yeah, that was my first life lesson. You Home know, economics is hard. I, 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 <laughs> at the time that I, I, I was all into Ms. V, Ms. V, like it was, I was super, super excited. But the moment I realized that you went to St. Mary's. Did like, you go to St. Mary's? No. no. I went to the other one. But you look like a Mary's girl. No, the other Accra one. Girls. Accra girls. <laughs> of course. Really? And, and you know how to dance because I'm not Accra girls. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing you could ever wish for. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't dance. No, 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 I'm telling you. I'll like if you stand, you bust a move. No, when she sits in, when, <laughs> when she I'm sits seated, in, yeah. I can't do everything. So, yeah. sorry, that oh, you're I, part of that squad, the yeah. sitting dance squad. Oh, you I give, hey. I, 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 I was like, <laughs> always hyped, Miss V, Miss V. But oh. when I heard Mary's, I was like, ah. You know how cry girls and Marys, we don't really click. Why? Me, I don't understand that story. It's like the whole Ewe and Ashanti think, they, thing. I wasn't think, there for the battle. Why am I a part of yeah. it? Like, true, I love my Ashanti true brothers though. and sisters. Don't true add though. me. Yeah. Don't add me. I, I don't know. What happened? I think we were told it was because of, I won't give them the hype, those boys. Yeah, the of Kanichi course. It's guys. obviously about boys. Oh. Yeah, so yeah. That's yeah secondary school. So yeah. 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 So <laughs> I won't mention the guys' okay. names. Like, yeah. Because it was a cracker boy, queeners, a cracker girls, that fight. Oh, yes. yeah, that's true. Yes, in the yeah. Akasma, Wapaga, for real, though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you people are not serious. Yeah, that was that whole fight. That was a whole fight. So, a whole fight. Right. But you then, guys are very pretty. Like I'm now seeing. No, I wear glasses. It takes a while for me. <laughs> wow. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much, Miss B. Yeah. Okay, but you've been doing this for many years. Um, yeah. And, uh, a decade. How would you describe the journey? It's been changing and changing in a good way, but it definitely, the change came with like, you know, crazy times and good times and boring times. But yeah, it's been like a journey of growth for me and self-discovery. So yeah, it's been okay. interesting. Okay, that's mm -hmm. good to know. But you, you spoke, just spoke about the interesting part. Um, I mean, with time and time again, these things we hear about mental health and mm -hmm. uh, you know, artists or creative people in the creative um, art seems to have a lot of challenges. Some yeah. will come out to tell us, but I can give you a classical case of Omali or in Nigeria, who mm -hmm. was very open about his issues that he faced during yeah. at a point he said he was being suicidal about it. Mm -hmm. Now, what really is the problem? And what can be done? I think that? creative people are just interesting that way, and like having like I've met a lot of them, so now I understand that we are all really in the same. Mm. Both creative people are very to themselves and they are really up here. Yeah. Like, and so we, we naturally struggle with these things. We are very talented, but everything else is sort of a problem. So I don't know. And then the whole music career thing, the music business is, is a lonely life. You're, you are the product, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. So can you imagine the stress on the product? It's not like you're sitting behind a PC and people are moving boxes mm -hmm. and, you know, you get out of the house you are the product. 
you have to smile, you have to make sure you're on point. You always have to deliver. Everything is you. Mm. So it gets very, very, mm -hmm. very tiring sometimes. Like I said on a show earlier today, even if you're not in the mood to be smiling or mm -hmm. whatever, if you get out, there's yeah, this fan too. who has been <laughs> loving you for years and they see you for the first time. Come on, you have to give them that energy. Mm -hmm. But maybe that day you're not feeling it, but you have to, or else people are going to call you so many names. And mm -hmm. then there's the internet bullying and there's mm -hmm. the name calling and mm -hmm. people measuring you to standards of society that maybe you don't measure yourself mm -hmm. to. But then it's just like a whole thing and then you're questioning yourself and you are the product. You're just, you're suffering all the time, <laughs> basically. So... It's hard for creatives. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's tough. But I just, in recent time, one psychologist came out. He's a clinical psychologist. And he said that um, most of you, you know, musicians, mm -hmm. actors, should take um, your mental health very seriously by visiting the clinic most times. Okay. Uh, do you people take that into consideration? Is this something you do? I don't trust that. <laughs> I think it's a good way. Um, but I... <laughs> People talk, no matter their field, even lawyers, you know, they'll sign a whole whatever, mm -hmm. but then the next yeah. time you hear someone talking about it, so in my head it's like, can you even really trust anyone? Yeah. Yeah. True. The fact that they say they're a professional, this does it really, maybe there are mm -hmm. some that are, but until I find those, then I don't know. Mm -hmm. But my, my source of therapy is my family, it's my mom. Yeah. Okay. And I trust that source 110%. That's what got me out of mine. Yeah. So that's my go-to, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I mean, you're celebrating a decade in the industry with mm -hmm. your latest song. How do you think the industry has... Oh, I actually celebrated a decade last year. Last, last year. year, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this so is over my first single this year. Okay, yeah. Yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. But um, how do you feel the industry, Ghana music industry, has evolved for female artists over the years? It hasn't really evolved. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's really the same. <laughs> the industry as a whole is really almost not moving mm. you know it's like in one place it's like it's just really there um there's nothing much to say about it it's just it's struggling a little bit if yeah. if, if I, i'll be honest it's struggling yeah and uh, do you think that um something can be done is and who is to be blamed for that who is to blame so i think pinks. all of us are mm. um okay I think people do the whole comparison thing a lot and they don't take a lot of things into consideration. Okay. Because no doubt we have amazing music coming from Ghana, mm -hmm. but we also have the issue of market size. True. Ghana is 32 million people. Nigeria is 200 and something million people. Mm -hmm. India is like 1 billion people. <laughs> America is like 400 and something million people. Yeah. There are not a lot of people on the internet in Ghana. The last time I checked, I think it was two. I said it earlier, but maybe it's 12. It's something too. But even if 5% um, of this 12% are streaming music in Ghana, 5% of the number in Nigeria streaming, who's making more money? Nigeria. Like Nigeria. all those things come yeah. in play, you know, but people are just like saying, and why did Ghanaians, and why, but there's this, and it's not a small issue, it's a big, a big issue, issue of market size. Mm -hmm. They are many, yeah. and we're here, and we also have our system that's full of foreign, like, things. Yeah. Everything from music industry to hospitality to everything has been infiltrated with foreign things. We love foreign things <laughs> so it's hard for anything local to really really hit the spot yeah. anywhere so yeah it's a lot of issues it's a i lot mean of issues. yeah and when it comes and, to and I, sorry. for example the nigerian industry they protect their artists they make sure the whole 80 20 thing works it's really so we working need policies. oh we need i i think they they did that before but i don't know where that's at um, <laughs> um yeah. yeah so we we have so many issues but we don't have a big market. Yeah. So even companies that are in Nigeria that are here, they make more money in Nigeria than they make and here. They make, yeah. Yeah. DSTV is really cheap in Nigeria because they have hundreds of millions of people. Yeah. And we are just 30 something million. They need to yeah. break even, they need to make profit. So it's expensive. expensive yeah. Yeah. So it's a lot. Mm. You can't just get up and just say Ghanaian artists are not doing well. We are fighting against so much. Mm. 
and against the rest of the world. We are just a small group of people. And, the and, and when it comes to support and opportunities, do you think that um, we've bridged that gap when it comes to the male and the females or the male artists get more opportunities? Oh, they do get more opportunities. Support. And again, I don't know why, I can never answer the question why females don't. It's just a thing that's, that's there. So, thing a societal is. societal thing. Would yeah, you say? It's, it's always just been. Mm. Like, I can't explain why it's just been. And we, it's not like we are many females in the industry, or very few. Yeah, if I very, ask you to name few. 10 females, can you try? I, I, we can. Ten. Okay, Ten. try. No, let's try. Thank you. you. Artists. I know. In this country. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, we can. Well, we can. Becca. Can. Okay, let's go. Known female artists doing, female. doing Known well. Female. Okay, let's go. Oh, we can. Yeah, I do want to well, yeah. No, because that's what it is. Like, at least, let's yeah. see. Let's go. So, okay. So, let's do it right away. Let's okay. go. Okay. So, best you No, you said you can. Do it all on your own. <laughs> let's go. Miss V. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I know. Uh-huh. I know Barony, right? Yeah. I fear. Sister if you don't Fia. know someone, just yeah. let's know. Okay. Yeah. Sister Fia, uh -huh. Sefa. Uh -huh. um, we have Becca. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Becca, <laughs> is, Becca is retired. Yeah. Well, yeah. but she's, our, she's one of our top arts. No, but we're talking about now. like the competition now. Like in the now, space now. today. So, yes. okay. Okay. She's done her, her bit. Her she's bit. been amazing, okay, but she's Becca retired. Out. Replace mm -hmm. her with Wendy. No, no, Wendy no, no, no. He's supposed to be. Let him do it. Wendy Shea. That's Frida Rhymes. Right. There's Frida Rhymes. Yes. Uh huh. What's that going? Akatsu. 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 Hey. You see how you're struggling you're to get to oh, just struggle. And you're struggling about doing, doing well. Doing I, I well. Uh, really? Won't struggle for 10, but it, it seems that. Yeah, it's, yeah, we, we will struggle just, for 10, yeah. but then we yeah. can get yeah. it just start. 10. Yeah. Hey, this is sad. Uh, by the way. Yeah. How many of them oh, make yeah. it into how many how many of them make it into Ghana you Music see, Awards? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ghana Music Awards. How many female artists do you usually hear on there? Oh, yes, yes, star. Last year, let me use it. No, let me use last I, I, year. I know that Miss V is not no, talking no, about hold on, gospel. Hold on, hold on, let me yes, No, I mean, gospel artists are part yeah, of it. But I'm just here. trying to say, so my point is, we're not many, first of all. Yeah. And then you, you barely hear us. If I ask you to sing songs, like people, you will not it even, come. It's, it wouldn't come, you know? Yeah. Maybe if you hear it, maybe you can jam yeah. to it. Yeah. But just naturally, it happens like that on radio, on TV. True. Maybe like... Um, 95% of the songs played are from the guys and then the five are from the females. I don't know why. No, it's but just, I it's totally just agree with this. And the yeah. other time we're having this conversation, yeah. I totally agree with that. Maybe somewhere it's part we're not many to. So somewhere, maybe, somehow, the system probably is against, you know, um, the women in the, in the space. Mm -hmm. But when you take the... Um, in, in, in making sure that you attract a lot of young people into the space, mm -hmm. why, do not, why do we not have the DJ of Miss V being a female? Mm -hmm. The manager of Miss V being a female. How many female DJs me, are there? Are there? I mean, at least a few ones will no. know that they can ta tag along, and then that will inspire other people. No, and say me, that, I have know, used female be... DJs before. Mm. I've used female instrumentalists before. But mm. how many are there? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and you know, being a woman too is a different thing. You know, <laughs> men just. Like, I was discussing this with my producer earlier. A male artist goes much longer than a female artist because they have a wife who has a kid, who has their kid who's home taking True. care of the kid. Mm. But when it gets to a certain age for me, mm -hmm. I will count down. Yes. Beyonce of all Beyonce's has calmed down because she's got kids, yeah. she's got a husband, she's got a yeah. home to run. Okay. It's just naturally different for both of us. So I really, I don't so, know. So with, with that being said, I mean, the entertainment <coughs> industry has its... Absent now when it comes to the female issues. Not only are the men dominating, there's this whole uh, stereotype, yeah. sexualizing women. It's, it's not a stereotype. Right now, it's a thing. It's a it's thing. A like thing. I, I want to make it as a stereotype so that we can t know how bad. <laughs> I feel like, like when it says stereotype, stereotyping doesn't cut it. Like yeah. It's like a real it's thing. It's an issue. It's, it's, yeah. there, so it's, it's an issue. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. it's a yeah. real thing. Mm. Issue. Call a spade yeah. a spade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we are talking from experience. Of course. Yeah, that's share, why. Share so that. that's share what I'm coming to share. You share. I, can, I can't share anything. No, not exactly. No, not exactly. That, the, no, but, no, but I will just say, like, in general, if you want a sponsorship mm -hmm. or you went to a label, you know, you are, it's always, so, give me your number. Let's have lunch, <laughs> mm -hmm. dinner, you know. Yeah. 
do you really want to blow? You know, yeah. Those but, questions are just always I yeah. get under yeah, my skin, and you know? I just can't. No, think but far. it will surprise you that we could have so many female artists in the country, but this is one of the main factors because most of them are scared. Yeah. And the ones who get to, you know, and they will use you and you will not even get anywhere. So I always yeah, keep sure. advising the girls to just be extremely patient. If you rush, you fall in wrong hands. Mm. Yeah. You need to like really calm down and you'll find the right people. Everything takes, everything good takes time. Yeah. So, yeah. Me, I was but, lucky on my first try to just find yeah. really yeah. cool people to yeah. work yeah. with. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people didn't get it that way. Yeah. So they need to really be patient because I've met crazy people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I always ask myself when these conversations come up, I always ask, should women really bear it all? Like women in the entertainment industry, in the showbiz business, should they really bear it all before they come they become successful? So are we to say that the ones we no, see they shouldn't. It's who? just we don't have a lot of there are a lot of people who are not professional. We have some professional Good. people. I had a professional mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. But you don't find a lot of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't find a lot of those. And it's, it's cut everywhere. Right? Yeah. For someone who has been in the industry, yeah. like mm -hmm. it's it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. We can't leave yeah, it. Yeah, but the most painful part is hearing people like on pundits, like you know, discussing and trying to belittle how crazy the situation mm -hmm. is. Yeah. And they are not even women. But they, they sit down and belittle it like yeah. they they say the craziest yeah. things and I'm watching the show and sometimes I just turn off the TV because it's like are you kidding me? You know, like people yeah. are and really and telling you what's affecting them. For a manager them. and the artist, if she's yes. a female, to, yes. to be in a relationship. Right, mm -hmm. and some of them will tell you, there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with there's that. Wrong. Like, mm -hmm. someone has to told my manager it. before, right. hey, Charlie, yeah, you have to you do for, you yeah. for date him, or you for, you know, you for do this yeah. with him, right. or else, you for she could left, and yeah. she yeah. left, you know. But that's crazy. I am sitting there, and I'm like, okay. Yes, but that's crazy. But that's crazy. It's not just in the music industry. Like you need to date them like, to lock them down. That's what yeah, they're saying. Exactly. But how would it benefit their career? I don't even. And right. it, it actually makes the whole thing just... Because the emotions get attached. Yeah. To exactly. Yeah. There's no focus. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you came in at a very young age. Mm -hmm. um, 18. Into the 18 into the space. Mm -hmm. And most often, I'm, I'm, I, I figure... I try to think about it. At that age, do you get prepped for what is ahead of you? Did you get that? Oh, nobody can prepare you for fame or... But it, they can prepare you for the stage and prepare yeah. you for, like, the things you have to physically do. Interviews, performance training, voice training, like, just the physical stuff. But what you should expect mentally, mm -hmm. like, nobody can prepare you for. You have to deal with it when you get there. Someone can tell... It's like saying that, are you ready for to give birth? <laughs> like, I, let me prep you to give birth. It, it's not possible. You ha it has to come out for you to deal with it mentally. What was, the, what was the first shock or what are some of the shocks that got to you when you got into the space about um, being a musician? How crowded it was because I was really reserved and quiet. I never had that life of like I have a lot of friends. I didn't even know how to make friends. If you see me in a setting with people, I get nervous. I don't want to talk. I just want to hide. So coming into this was like really mind blowing for me. And it took a really big toll on me. Like it wasn't great. People said I was rude. You know, I just didn't know how to like have banter with people yeah. and socialize. So it was really tough for me. Yeah. Okay. Ms. B, you also mentioned just a while ago that, you know, the Ghanaian people wouldn't, they don't like their own. They like others. I want you to explain Not that. Not everyone. Because uh, mostly, I can give yeah. even you and others, like, an exam uh, as examples, you have been shown love over the years. So oh, I have. <laughs> I have. I have. I <laughs> have. You are one of the no, but loved most loved. Yeah, yeah. Most loved. yeah and I'm very it. grateful yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm very grateful yeah. for that. But I don't mean it like everybody. Everybody, yeah. 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 It's just our system just eats up a lot of foreign stuff. True. That's okay. all I'm saying. We love our own, but we sometimes just really, we relax too much for other things to just sort to of come. take over. Yeah. That's how I feel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, but will you also say that um, record labels, are they a blessing or a curse? Um, they have like their good sides and their bad sides. Just like being a solo artist. I'm independent now and it has its good sides and its bad sides. Being with a record label, they literally do everything for you. Money-wise, you know, your job is it's still not an easy job. You have to go sing, and then you have to do everything they say, which is tough. And then coming on this side where I'm independent now, it's relaxed. I do things as and when. 
and I have time to do any other thing I want to do. So I can make plans for myself that suit me, that make me feel relaxed. But then now I have to invest in everything I do. Yeah. So they're both like... Uh -huh. So, yeah. you know, uh, with the relaxing part, now you are able to do stuff as and when you want. Mm -hmm. But with record labels, they make you do more work. And that mm -hmm. actually enhances or help the craft, will you say? So, um, as well? For where I am in life right now, that will not be very helpful to me. Um, I feel like I'm growing. I'm 31 now. I have a lot of successful friends. And the one advice is not to have just one stream of income. You should be able to do other things because Ghana is already hard as it is. We don't know what it's going to look like later on. But <laughs> right. again, I like a very comfortable life. Yeah. Soft so life. exactly, soft yeah. life. You know, <laughs> soft life gang. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I am. So for the last four months I was in the States, I'm just working on like different businesses I have. Some are new, some aren't new. But I'm just trying to make sure that my life goes in a way that I, I can sit back and say I'm proud mm -hmm. and I'm okay. Because a lot of people chase this whole music thing, music thing, yeah. and then at a point, and I've seen examples, so I need to start working on myself mm -hmm, now. Yeah. And then at a point, they, they sit down with so much regrets, like I should have done this too, mm -hmm. and I should have done that too, because you will not last in the industry forever. There's mm -hmm. always a newbie, there's always hot artists. You will remain a big artist, but there will be hot artists who are like okay. everywhere jumping Everyone. around, yeah. they have mm -hmm. all the energy. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I, I don't want that kind of life right now. Right now, my mind is like in different places at once, but the music will forever be like my first baby. Yeah. yeah. But, but on the back of what um, Helen asked, it's, it's more of now you have gone through the process mm. and you have seen it all. Mm -hmm. I so have when, 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 no, when I say seen see it all, it's not it's like you have, really. <laughs> but for, you see, for most people, like mm -hmm. upcoming or mainstream artists, yeah. they always want to have the labels. They always want to have the music distribution companies or the publishing companies to be yeah. helping them. Mm -hmm. Privilege or no privileges, someone can thrive. Oh, yeah. Good. You have thrived when I, that's that's why i'm saying you have seen it all right you say you haven't seen it all mm -hmm. but for someone who hasn't um is is, is up and coming mm -hmm. who hasn't really tasted all these things and is watching and doesn't really understand feels like oh when you are saying what you are saying yeah for that person who is up and coming with that little followership organic followers and a little that he or she has how how can that person see the industry and make sure that he or she benefits from what he's doing, rather than having the sole aim of saying, I want labels, I want labels. Because this whole label, label, music distribution, what, 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 is, is, is a problem on Twitter after this whole Nigerian artist issue. But mm -hmm. I want you to just tell us, for somebody who hasn't really tasted it, how should the person see the industry? And how should they tackle it from an angle that will help them? Hmm, that's a hard question. Very. <laughs> I think that everybody sees it differently because we're all different people mm -hmm. but i i will just tell the person to honestly really truly focus on their craft and just keep going hard at it and whoever w who is meant to either sign you mm -hmm. or support you will come along mm -hmm. i can't tell them how to see yeah. it because i saw it from my point of view from who i am from the family i'm mm -hmm. like i'm just a whole different mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. so i can't tell them to see it yes from they, they from have to they have from to discover, their own lens. Yeah, they have yes, to discover, discover it for it themselves. Own, yeah. But the thing is, they have to really just work hard and stay true to themselves. They have to, I mean, I feel like being unique keeps you going a very long time. True. Because there's, like, right now, everything is just trends. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. many people are jumping on the same trend. So <laughs> how special are you? Are you? Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you jump on the same trend, it might take way longer for anyone to notice you. Mm -hmm. But the people who just pop up on social media for something, it's all very unique stuff. Yeah, so yeah. try to find you and try to put that like in your work and just keep going at it. You never know. You know, when, when you came in, I was telling my, my girls that why didn't they add Say My Name? So okay. this, that's my all-time favorite song. Oh. Like it's it's a very okay. favorite song, and okay. you have one of Thank the guys you. whom I'm hoping will perform at, at my wedding one day. <laughs> Pastor Rankin. <laughs> so I'm very ambitious. But that particular song has mm. like 20 million views, and mm. you read the comments 
from that particular song. I haven't read the comments in you a long should. time. You should. You know why I'm saying that. Eh? You, had, you have mad fans in the Caribbean, yeah. especially from people from the Haiti. Have you visited any of the Caribbean countries? So in November, mm -hmm. I have a tour in Australia. Mm -hmm. This okay. November? Yes. Okay. Ooh. And in New Zealand, and in Fiji, mm -hmm. and in Papua New Guinea. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to Haiti because I've got so many calls from them. Mm -hmm. My team have got so many calls. Like you have, yeah, so you I, have. I definitely will. You have crazy fans, and you should yeah. read their comments. They're hilarious. Yeah. I wanted to read some. And, and most of wait, but most of my <laughs> some of my core fans are in India. Like crazy. Yeah, wow. and yeah. that's what I'm saying. The Caribbean. <laughs> Everyone is showing their flag from yeah. Jamaica, Haiti. From mm -hmm. they, they like to put it there. But whilst I'm thinking about this, you asking whether you've been there. One of the things that I really love artists to be doing nowadays, but then when we have this conversation, they always say, oh, Ghana for your pizza. For, for, for some time now, features, collaborations, mm -hmm. and remixes mm -hmm. are really bringing the streams, mm -hmm. are really bringing the numbers, the popularity amongst people. Mm -hmm. In recent times, when you look at the Ghanaian music industry, <laughs> people are, it's like a, a mixture of views. Mm -hmm. Some feel, oh, if we have more collaborations, if we have mm -hmm. more projects together with other people, mm -hmm. I mean, it could change the face of the industry. Whereas others, I say, oh, every time you are putting pressure on the artist. For someone, you've had enormous remix with, uh, no, features with people, with Pato Rankin, Tiwa Savage, uh, Yemi Alade, with Bella Shmurda, with another, is it Harmonizer? Or something? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Do you feel in recent times it is something that we should embark on have collaborations have joint collaborations projects collaborations are always good but there's nothing that's popular without adequate promotion yeah. okay. you can have the biggest collaboration in the world mm -hmm. but if you don't put money in it it will fall in water okay it doesn't matter what kind of name you have on mm -hmm. your collaboration mm -hmm. don't promote it it's not going anywhere so now the way forward so is, money. is money. money and there's not enough money in the system <laughs> Ghanaian artists don't make enough money. Wow. A again, because we are in the market we are mm -hmm. in. So, eh, you'll be paid good enough, but in comparison to markets that have 200 and something million people, mm -hmm. they are paid way more. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how many shows do artists even play? Exactly. How <laughs> many endorsement deals do they, do they play? Yeah. Are they making money from streaming? <laughs> so, you want to do... You want to think about all of that mm -hmm. and then think about the collaboration and the money you need to push it to have a proper hit. Yeah. yeah. Money is a very big problem. Like, here. problem. So when us is like, let's say someone like Amare decides mm -hmm. to go out, mm -hmm. get into the UK mm -hmm. mainstream market, mm -hmm. she has all the It doesn't just happen. She's mm -hmm. never been a Ghanaian, Ghanaian. She's Ghanaian, mm -hmm. but she's been based elsewhere. Yeah. So it's easier for her to plug in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you are born in Keta. <laughs> You went to uh, <laughs> no me. I'm talking about yeah. born in Keta. You went yeah, to some government school somewhere. Yeah. Then you went to Martin de Porres. Then you went to St. Mary's. Then you went to and luckily you were signed by one of the biggest labels in Ghana. They did the best they could. You are doing the best you can. Hopefully, you can manage that someday. You know, but it's not the, the easiest thing. Money is not the easiest mm. thing for yeah. Ghanaian artists. So it's so funny when you know. Um, um, the media, I don't want to say much. Oh, say it. Say it. I think I know what you're saying. No, because, people, because, okay. no, because people expect Ghanaian artists to, you know, you pay the payola. Yeah. And then, it, I feel like people don't think a lot for the artists as well, because mm -hmm. how much are they making? You know you're what? paying, and you're not just paying one DJ, you know. That's Even if you're giving every DJ... Mm -hmm. 500 CDs. <laughs> and you are paying That's 40 DJs. Right. Yeah. How much is that? And then you are shooting your music, music video. video. And music videos are very expensive. Very. And then you have to do online promotion. You are paying for that, which is thousands of dollars. YouTube ads. Like, it's so crazy. So most artists don't even break even to mm -hmm. say they are making profits. Yeah. yeah. So, so, <laughs> it's so, crazy. So, so this That's whole conversation crazy. about, you know, money... And how our artists in the country are not able to get money even for themselves. Mm -hmm. So yesterday we were at an event, um, and there was Baba Sadi, like there was the GTA, mm -hmm. there was Corporate Ghana. So alcoholic beverage, you know, <laughs> people. You know how I mean, there's lots of money from that side, but we are in a country where 
they say celebrities can endorse <laughs> such stuff, right? An example was made about Afro Zig or one of the dancers. Ziggy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I when, like that. When, guy. when the when the video for the ad was shot, mm -hmm. it wasn't popular. Mm -hmm. Months after they said, "Okay, let's put it out." They were told that the person is now popular, so they cannot show it. Yes, he cannot. Mm. He cannot and be in the video as part of the alcoholic beverage brand promotion and all that. From where you're seated and, and some of these things that hamper mm -hmm. money's coming into the pocket of artists, mm -hmm. do you really think that the, those in authority have really short-changed you artists? I can't answer that question, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... <laughs> no, because a lot of investments yeah. come from that side. I know. I know it's definitely a loss. It's a yeah. big loss. It's definitely a loss. That's all I can say. It's definitely a loss. The way, the way she saw the question, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Smooth. 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 But, 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 but also... Um, like we said earlier, you're one of the artists, you know, loved by everybody. <laughs> you know, we didn't love Davi. We I love you. Everybody, but yes. Most. most. Thank you, guys. <laughs> no, no, most, most people. And some yeah. of my friends. But you know, the way you're, you're talking, and I don't know if the, that's what I'm getting. I don't there's think something that's happening. nothing 100%, though. Right. Or of am course. I like, no. It's actually. Yeah. 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 No, the, I've even seen, com oh, of course, you see comments. This one is even better than Miss V. You know, this it's, it's the normal thing. Yeah. People yeah. love what they love. I also don't love everything. Mm -hmm. So it's just normal that yeah. it's not everybody who will like me. I'll be arrogant to think that everybody will like me just because I'm being sweet. Yeah. yeah. I, I was going to ask, maybe, of course, you've been in the industry for a very long time, so there have been experiences, certain things that has got to you. So now that you said, you know, as we know, you're 10 oh, years Oh, things in used to get to me, mm. but not anymore. Which one got to you most? I don't know. I was just very, like, I was just the, the hard on myself about things, but I just realized opinions are opinions. People have their opinions. And, that's it. Okay. All right, so okay. you're just tuning in. You're watching um, um, Holiday <laughs> Edition right. with Miss V. And when today, when, guys, let's do a surprise. Let's do like some two calls later before yes, Miss V. Yes, but can we, can we talk right about there. your style, though? I mean, <laughs> I, I was just looking at you, just admiring. Oh. And the choker yes. it has some pins in there. Safety pins. Yeah, safety pins <laughs> in there. Yeah, there is no safety really pins. Safety safety pins. Safety. They are not safety pins. They are not safety pins. No, they are not. But I have they? me cry. I don't even know what If they, they are, they are the styled ones. It's giving me some goth <laughs> kind of vibes. Oh my God. Who's, who styled you though? I woke up and I wore them. Woke up like okay, this. You woke up. I think her sister. Is it Margie? Margie. Ma yes. No, hey, Margie. No, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Queen Margie. Yes. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I'm, I'm too small for Margie. Oh, oh, no. so you are small, Clyde. No, no, no. I'm, I'm small. I'm a small girl, you know. No, no, no. But I just, I sound myself. Almost always, I just wow. make up and wear something. Yeah. Wow. So then you're the first. Yeah, you're really? The first. Yeah. Like, I look at your picture. You know, their mixed outfits. status is there. I mean, I'll give shout out to Margie. Oh, oh Mar no, Margie is it. Okay. Yes. Go and follow her. Her I mean, style. Yeah. Oh, my, oh, my. Yeah, yeah go follow her. She <laughs> is like <laughs> makeup, fashion, yeah. and everything. Yeah. Combination, yeah. the hair. Yep. Oh. Yeah. And, yeah. You, and you seem to trend with every hairstyle. Right. I mean, when you cut your hair, you were trending. With, with that yeah. one, your, your Afro, you were trending with it. Mm -hmm. I think, as you said, it's grace. There's just something it's special grace, about it, yes. And, and again, minding my own business, you know. Right. It's good, <laughs> it's good really to helps. just mind your own business, man. <laughs> I, I'm preaching this thing. Yeah. I think this is my agenda for 20, mm -hmm. the rest of 2023. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. <laughs> but, really but I'm cool. sure that you have an inspiration when it comes to your style. Who inspires you? No, I don't have. You don't? No, I just. Just pick up. Wow. right. Cool. I'm not a brand person. Mm. I'm not. It's just, it has to just look cute. I'll okay. wear it. Yeah. Good to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I want to talk about one of your songs. Uh, Come and see my mother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's to all the gentlemen right. out yeah. there. You, know? you have to come and see it's our a mother. Very big warning. Right. <laughs> so yeah. uh, I was wondering, like you're saying, is it really a warning? Is it personal or you're just doing it for all the ladies? Oh, I'm doing it for all the ladies. Thank you very much. I wonder when the guys are just doing this for myself. Yeah. You know you don't have that right. And Helen, that question has brought me to, I mean, I had this question. There's just something you're good with hiding. Or being private, mm -hmm. as you said, minding your own business. 
And to date, we don't know who Miss V has ever dated. And you would never know. You would never know. She. And you would never know. You would never know. Like you've kept, <laughs> I'm sure that if you're married now, we won't even know. Oh, yeah, that's true. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's good. So I mean, bad. yeah. Yeah. And no, I was just looking at the ring. Three is a crowd. Guys. I was just looking at the ring on your no, finger. I'm like, did the other one. It did no, no, I'm like, no, 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 nah. This one, no. Like, fun fact. Do you know why the ring is worn here? Because there's a vein connecting this finger to the heart. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Hey. And so, what about oh, this one? Things. <laughs> All right. Maybe, what about this one? That's when you are wearing it. Then when they are ready, no, no, no. No, no. I think part. when they are ready to say maybe they want right. to connect. Ah, ah right. then they get to the next one <laughs> easily. Okay. Wow. So but, 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 but it's good. That yeah. that, that yeah. part of yeah. your life is cool. Yeah. 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 I was at your ten thirty lunch. Were you really? Back. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, he was. You never did say, to say hi. hi. Oh, oh no, that's one. Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I yeah. enjoyed it. It was a good show. Everything. It was a good show. I did a report show. on it. Yeah, I think we yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a really we, good we did show. Oh, uh -huh. thanks for coming. And your the features on there. Yeah. And later, I got to realize that you're one of the artists from Ghana who's ventured into it should be the east african space yeah the, the, right. there's a group that they featured you also featured them. oh mm -hmm. no not no. mafiki so um navi kenzo yes yeah. navi kenzo mm -hmm. and they were brilliant on your song and you also on the 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 other two side. very good songs yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so how important was it for you to get out i mean yaka ghana and we mentioned music everybody knows music. Mm -hmm. ghana. how important was it for you to be able to step out of the borders of Ghana and get into other spaces. And when you got into those spaces, what what were some of the music stuff that got to you, like the understanding of their space also? Um, I'm not going to go too deep into this, but mm. the East African countries are very like one about their music, mm. and they don't mix their music with anywhere else. Like okay. if you want to get your music into that space, it's tough. It's tough, eh? yeah. They listen to their music. They soak their music. And you are listening, you don't even understand what they are saying, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they enjoy their music. Like, yeah. I, I don't... Yeah. But, okay. so, it was very nice to get Navi Kenzo, because they reached out, mm. and then I did their song. I was like, you know what? This is my chance. Let's, let's go that direction. And I know I have fans there, so this was, like, a very good opportunity to you know, mix and match yeah. for us. So yeah, we did that. Well, when you yeah. say listen to their music, is it a deliberate attempt made deliberate. by the whole country? Deliberate, yeah. Okay, and so, so they, it was deliberate at first, but now it's like normal. Normal, yeah. okay, mm. okay. So it's a, a deliberate attempt. Mm -hmm. The government uh, or whatever music mm -hmm. industry they have has made yeah. that their music will be maybe 90% mm -hmm. and others will be like... Yeah, they, they, they do that, they yeah. Do that. Mm -hmm. but can, can we do that here? Hmm? Now it's, we have to. We can oh. now. Can See, we? Yesterday, Baba Sadiq said something here. Yeah? <laughs> it all boils down, and, and it's not political affiliate or whatever that it is. But the problem we've had in this country from way back is political will. Mm -hmm. We there is no political will to get things done. Mm. When my statement may seem political, but that is what it is. <laughs> There's no political will. If we want to build auditoriums, how much would auditoriums cost? We'll be able to build it. No, they have to finish the cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh my God. You know, we have to go for No, no, no. Yeah, they have to. Yo, where have they reached? Really? They are still at the foundation. Oh, okay, okay. You know what, guys? We are still gathering the foundation. We have to go for a break. We have to go for a break. Now, the IADA is the day edition, yeah? Yeah. Wait, please. It's Kwame Kwame Moyo, yeah, the Founders Kwame Day was... Yeah. So no, they, yeah. no, but this morning, I saw it's still Founders Day. Like, no, it's still... The, wait, the, it's not the, the one with the X with the... With uh -huh. the government, yes, it is not <laughs> Founders <laughs> with a yeah. Okay, yes. it's so Kwame, Kwame 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 Moyo Day before yeah. okay. before <laughs> they come for your okay. head. Okay, but yeah. what is the Kwame Kwame Moyo, but there's a Founder Day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, we're going for a quick commercial break. We'll be back with more. <laughs> Okay, uh, welcome back for the break. It's holiday edition and we are loving every bit of it with Ms. V in the studio. As I mentioned earlier, you may get the opportunity to talk to Ms. V. Like, yeah, we'll open the phone line, some two, three calls there. We can do that. But let's get into it um, from 10.30 as she released. Um, she's got Destiny out. We'll talk about that in a bit. But, um, so this issue about people, fans, wanting celebrities to talk about social issues, right? 
So you know what happened in the country today and all that. Then all of a sudden, I saw that there's hashtag boycott December shows trending, hmm. and it's because uh, people online think that um, some celebrities in the country or celebrities in the country should be able to use their voice or their platform to be able to, to talk about some of these things that that happen. Well, some may be indifferent about it, like, yo, let me be chilled in my corner. Others too may be vocal about it. But at the end of the day, um, it's what you decide. I just want to get Ms. V stored on it. That <laughs> <laughs> oh, because it's people a, take a, a lot of screenshots of artists. Like they've, they've asked, you mentioned a lot of artists that, that they should talk about when it was SARS, did they mention my yeah. name? No. No. <laughs> so, let's be uh, no, but but how important is it for you to be able to use your your opportunity to do music? Oh, um, to no, it's it's very 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 important. Mm. And when I can, I do. I remember the last time I don't know which station posted the is it mortuary one of those, and then I yeah, posted yeah. and I made some noise about. When I want to, I, will, I, I, I don't just get up and talk about everything. Mm. But when I need to, when I feel like I can add my voice to something, I do. You do? Yeah. 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 So please, Miss V has said some, okay? So, <laughs> <laughs> so please, leave, leave, a, leave a out of all, all, all of this. So uh, I don't know if a producer can just put the number on the screen. Uh, let's give like two, three people the opportunity to call and say something in a minute or less to Miss V um, on the show today. So let me just put the number out there. And then you can call and do that. So that's 0245 834980. 0245 834980. So Miss V has been has been hanging out in the U, US, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, she she did US, she did out for a while. Low key, she's back <laughs> low key, but she's back into the country. Um, and destiny is out. Yeah. Who wants to quench your destiny your destiny? <laughs> I think we should play the song first. You should play the song first. Yes. Yeah. I need all of us sitting at the table of life to okay. listen. To watch it again. To listen, okay. No, to listen to the lyrics. The lyrics. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Please okay. cue the, cue the song and let's, let's have it let's played. Let's listen to And then when we come back, <laughs> we'll continue with that. So this is the new one from Ms. V. It's titled Destiny. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm sure you listened to the words of the song. I thought I heard, or I, I heard... The way to success is narrow. The road to success is narrow. Yeah. So that's my favorite part of the song. It says, Ja knows tomorrow, all the pain and the sorrow, they are essential to your testimony. Put in your bone and marrow, the way to success be narrow, only few can find it. Only few can find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm unique, I know be common. Make I tell you where I come from. In the ghetto, no be London. London, dun, 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 dun. Still I rise up from the dungeon. Mama told me you're a champion. You're going to make it in the long run. Yeah. Ah. We yes. have Karen from East Leguan. <laughs> Karen, good afternoon. And thanks for joining us on Entertainment Review. Hello? So talk, Karen has to put on the, right. the volume sure of the Karen, Karen, yes, we beg you. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Karen. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi. Hello. I, I'm good. Yourself? <laughs> Hello. Oh, can That's you hear me, Karen. Karen? Yes, please. I can. I can. Karen, you speak can... up, okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good first, afternoon. What, first of all, which of Ms. B's song do you love the most? Okay, actually, hello. We are listening Karen, to you. Karen, we are listening to you. Just uh, speak, okay. Hello. Just, no, no, turn the volume of your TV or turn it off. Just, <laughs> yeah, talk, through, uh, talk to us through the phone, okay? Through can you do, can, can okay. you do that for me? I think Karen has to call back. Okay, yes, Karen, Karen has, has to call, to call back, back yeah. 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 I mean, when you call, just... Turn down the volume of don't your Don't try television. to listen yeah, to Don't yourself. listen to your voice. Yeah. yeah you know, know your voice is nice. Exactly. So speak to yeah. us on the phone as yes. we, we talk, yeah. okay? So call us. The number is on the screen so we can talk and then wrap up the conversation with Ms. V here. Um, 0245 8349 is the number to call. So uh, Ms. V, we are, yeah. we're ending September. Mm -hmm. We're getting into the last quarter. Last three 
We have to There's take this There's a Nanaya call. on the line. Hello, Nanaya. <laughs> My name's Sig. Thursday was Hello. Nana. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me, Nana? I can hear you clearly. Okay. Um, Miss V is here. Before you say anything, let me ask you, which song is your favorite song, Miss V song ever? Miss V song? Yes. All Miss V songs are my favorite. All of them. My, my Give me a line from any of them. <laughs> The road to success is narrow. <laughs> Which one? The road he just to said that the road to success is narrow. Nana, Nana, I was listening to the show. Nana, why are you smiling? Miss Miss, you speak to her. Oh, Miss Miss is my baby. Hi. It's my long time crush. Hi, baby. I want to see Nana Yao's face. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm talking to you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nanaya Benitan on uh, Twitter. On Twitter? <laughs> on Twitter. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay. I'm Nana, sure why, he's why been commenting a lot. <laughs> I'm on someone. I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to meet you. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Don't I'm worry. Sure. A lot of opportunities coming up. Very nice <laughs> talking you. to you. Nice to Thank you. Bye. Oh, you made his day. What is it about Ogo Chad? The other day, I'm going to be but anyway, thank you for calling. We could do like two more. Let's yeah. just get to know and wrap up with that. So call us now. And please, when you call, turn down the volume of your set. You just speak to us. Tell us your name, where you're calling from. And then just speak to uh, Ms. V here. We're going to be wrapping up with the upcoming project and, and all that till December um, 2023. And even uh, beyond any more features we should be expecting from her. All right. So good afternoon. Who is on the line? Yeah, my name is Jaffa calling from Alaga. Your name is? Jaffa calling from Alajo. From Alajo, okay. Um, let me just go after Naya asks, what's your favorite Miss B song? Uh, coming Home, yeah. Coming Home. The one oh, with okay. Tiwa Savage. Okay, that's, that's, that's a good one. That's nice. Miss B is here, speak to her. Hello. Hello, Hello Miss Diva. Hi. <laughs> Talk to I me. Like, I, I like all your songs. I like all your songs. Thank you so much. Uh, keep, okay. keep doing what you're doing, man. Thank you, you so reach, much. You reach up high. You reach there. You reach there. Okay, sure, I hear you. Too, you <laughs> too, you get the BET. Inshallah. Inshallah. Oh, the BET. Thank you for the support. He, he, Thank he you for you the support. Get the BET. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, you, were, you were there, right? You were nominated for the yeah. BET. Yeah. Yes, I was ago. nominated 2015 and 2016. Oh. Yeah. Two, two two you don't be smart. That's why you've, you've seen it all. <laughs> yes, she had. I mean, all the guys are speechless. When they call. When they call. Girls should also call. Let's go find out why. I hope it's a lady. I hope it's a lady. It's a lady. Oh. Who's on there? Okay, uh, I guess we just keep talking. When she, um, the caller comes in, we'll continue. So, Ms. V, um, Destiny is out now. What's, what, what are you going to do with this? And is there going to be a concert, a program, anything like that? Um, hmm, we'll see. But in the meantime, mm -hmm. the tour is what's coming up. Okay. My tour in November oh, in yeah, Australia yeah, yeah. is what's coming up. Mm -hmm. I will be in Australia from um, the second week. And yes, it's going to be like three weeks of performing in different places. So I'm very excited. If you have, you have listeners abroad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in YouTube <clears throat> everywhere. So if you have friends in Australia, in Papua New Guinea, um, Fiji, New Zealand, please let them contact Juicy Red. Yeah. Um, or Tema Music for more information. Get your tickets and I will be seeing you guys shortly. Okay, yeah. so let's do the final call. -out. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, your name and where you're calling us from? I'm, I'm still girl, Ivan. I'm calling from St. Mary's Senior High School. St. Mary's. St. Mary's Senior High School. Hey! hey. Are you on the campus? <laughs> yes, um, my daddy is Mr. Toto Glue, like your math teacher. Oh, what? what? Mr. Toto Glue, your math teacher. Uh, my, <laughs> my math teacher. Right. Yeah, he taught you. Oh, so he, mean, he wants to talk. No, no he no, taught no. you. He taught me to be in school, right? No, yeah, remember your master. No, wait, wait, the wait, one wait. talking talking. Well, let's me. get it clear. Let's get it clear. You the caller where you have master in school. Like I mean hello? Yeah, we can hear you. I mean my daddy taught you in school. Oh, oh. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Okay, okay. Ask him if I was a good student. I'm sure he said no, but okay. <laughs> but anyways, what, what do you have to say to her? What do you have to say to her? Yeah. What do you have to say to her? 
Oh, I just wanted to tell her that I love her. Uh, thank you. I choose. I tell her my my role model. Oh. And my and my daddy always talks about her and how like she was a good student in school and the entertainment <laughs> prepared stuff. Wow. I don't believe it's you. A <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thanks for the support. Thank you. All right, so that'll be over the course this afternoon as we wrap up with Ms. V. Ms. V, it's been, it's, been an <laughs> it's been an exciting conversation yeah. with you. Uh, um, we're happy to came you through. Guys. Um, any, as, as we did try to do, any final thing, anything we didn't touch I think your that. table of life is so cool, guys. Oh. And, and yeah. you guys are like really cool, chill. Yeah. The interview was like nice. You know, yeah. there are a lot of crazy interviews, but this one was like really nice, you know. <laughs> And I want to say a big thank you to my fans for supporting me for like like 13 years. God bless you guys and my team, uh, my producer Kizzy Beat. You know, he produced my new song Destiny. You can follow him, Kizzy Beat, on Instagram, wherever. And the video is out on my official YouTube channel, Ms. V Official. Subscribe and enjoy the video. I love you guys to bits. Thank you so much. Mwah. Okay. Oh. Thank you too for coming. <laughs> Nara, is there anything? D d I don't know why they say there's a last caller. There's a last caller. Okay. Last caller, <laughs> okay. okay. last call up, please. Your name and <laughs> where you are calling from. My name is Ni, and I'm calling from Sotom. Okay, Ni. Um, um, yes. Before you say anything to Ms. Lee, which which is your favorite song among all her songs? All her songs. Oh, oh okay. Her songs. Oh. Give me a line from any of her songs. The way to success. Um, <laughs> I, I'm coming to see her mama. Coming to see my mother. My mama. Okay. This, this Have you gone to see I anybody's mother? <laughs> Not yet. I want to see <laughs> mama. <laughs> You know, say something to Miss V before she goes. Miss V, you are beautiful. Hi. You are lovely. Thank you. Like this things. I love your style. From you know, I, I I wish to always meet you in life and you know express how much a fan I am to you. Oh, you know, thank you, you are so great much. And, you know, you always be great. You know, I'm Emmy J. I I keep following you. I just love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Oh. On exactly. Instagram and hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, okay. thank you. All right. All right, thank so you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. calling. Uh, this will wrap up. Uh, people are texting that they are calling. We won't pick up. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Lois Darko, Lois Darko, please have received your yeah. message. Yes. yes. Okay. That is, that's all for the afternoon. Ms. V, thank you for coming. Thank you for we're always, having we're me. We're always there. Um, yeah. we'll, talk, we'll talk on the other side. When you go to the, uh, the <laughs> Haiti and all the other places. Yes. So that, I mean, so that we can, I know lots of times people say the media, we are not talking about artists here on yeah. Toronto. But when we also have, when we receive the videos, mm -hmm. the um, the press releases, yeah, the yeah. about whatever you do there, yeah. we can mm -hmm. also talk about it. Yeah. yeah, so we'll talk about it on the other side.